So when we left off the previous recording, um, we had made the front of the speaker, and I'd also made a copy of this part right here before I deleted the line and push pulled it, made it into a component. So the reason I've made that mm. was because it will enable me to make my first additional piece. Now, if we look at the um, exercise book, you can see that there's a part, part six, which has this dimension in profile and then has a length of 260. Now on the other page, you can actually see part six. It's right here, it has a half circle profile, push pulled to 260, so it's kind of that shape. So in order to make that, all I need to do now that I've got that shape is push pull it to my correct length, which is 260. I'm going to make it into a component. And I know that this is accurate because I've actually copied a part of the bit that it needs to fit together with in order to make it. So by now zooming in, pick it up by that corner right there, and snap it onto that corner right there, I know that I'm going to have the exact correct fit and that it's going to fit together perfectly accurately. And because I know that by hitting the Option key, on my Mac, picking it up by that corner, I can now copy another instance of that component, and now I've got both of those done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up, and I'm going to make this corner here, and what I'm going to do is go into this component, double-click to edit, and then I'm going to from this point, with my pencil tool, draw to the center of that quarter circle. And then from that center, go up here. You can see that I'm on the red axis, so I'm going perfectly parallel to the edge to that end point. Now that gives me a separate surface here. Now if I were to take my move tool and make a copy of it by moving, what I'm going to do is create a copy only. I'm going to make create a copy, but it's still inside that component, and that's not what I want. So go back a step, and I'm going to select that surface, and just like I would with some text, I'm, I've selected it, and now I'm going to just do Command C, or what you can also do is go to Edit and Copy, Command C, go outside the component just by clicking at the side, and then Paste by doing Command V, or I can choose Paste. And now I've got a copy of that piece of geometry that I just copied. So I'm going to go back in here, delete those two lines that I used. And now I can push pull. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is move that into place. Whoops, made my own mistake there. Look, I didn't actually select it. So select, pick it up by that corner, snap it onto that corner, which allows me to know that it's exactly correct in the terms of its position. So push pull up, push pull up to 260. I can, I can check that it's 260 by just touching a corner on this part here or this part here, and that allows me to know that I've pulled up by 260. Make this into a component, and now I've got Part that I can duplicate. So let's rotate our view around so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to, so that's already selected, so I'm going to take my move tool, hit the option key, move it so that it's located just there, and you can see that's not the correct position, so then I need to use my rotate tool, snap my rotate tool to that corner, move to that corner, grab it, move it around to that corner. And now I've got those four bits, which are that one, that one, that one, that one, as separate components attached to this component. And I know they're accurate because I used my original, com com the front component to build all the following ones. So all I need to do now is I don't even need to really, because I've already been working accurately, I don't even really need to know the size of that 
for that. See, part seven, they're the two side pieces. Part three is that top piece. Don't need to know the sizes because I already can just draw them. So from that corner to that corner, and then my push pull tool, all I need to know now is the thickness. And you can see part seven, well, thickness, does it give me the thickness? Thickness 26. So I'll just assume that the same thing is true. Thickness is 26 on all those. 26. Make it a component. And then because I need the same thing over the other side, I'm going to do it over the other side too. Now with the top, I can do the same thing. From that corner there to that corner there is the rectangle I need. I'm going to make it 26. 26. Boom. Done. One, two, three allows me to select it and then make a component again. So I'm nearly there. Now, instead of drawing a rectangle, which is, um, oh, let's just, let's just um, do it a different way. Now, what I can do is I can make a copy of this because I know it needs to be 26. So I've already got something that's, that has that thickness, but it doesn't need to be that long. So what I can do is I can, first of all, make this unique and then find out how tall that needs to be. It needs to be 60. You can see part five. So take a guideline from there to there, make that 60. And push pull that until it hits the guideline, which then gives me a component, which is the correct height. And I need a copy of that over here. So let's just zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Option key or the control key on your Windows machine allows you to copy that, snap it onto that point there, and that's everything except my final piece. And the final piece, if you look right here on this page, zoom in right here, is a piece that fits on top of that, and that is part four. Don't need to measure it because I already have two reference points that allow me to draw it. That corner there, and that corner there. And I know that it's 26 thick make it a component, and I am done with all those pieces. Now, the one final piece that I need is the back, and I know that the back of my speaker is exactly the same as the front, except it doesn't have a hole, because part two is identical to part one, but without a hole. So, let's do that. Make a copy by moving hit the option key or the control key on a Windows machine, drag that up. And again, I'm gonna make this unique. Once I've made it unique, I'm gonna to click to edit, double click. And the nice thing is if you've got an object with a hole in it, if you delete the line that defines the hole, like that line right there, the surface will reform itself. And the same thing here, delete the line that defines the hole, the surface reforms itself. Click to one side, so I'm no longer editing that component. Roll that over to check that that still has a hole in it. Perfect. And so there is my final finished piece, which is exactly correct according to the instructions in the guidebook. Okay, I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any problems, and I'll talk to you in the next video.